Hello and welcome to my channel. Now, in today's vlog, we're going to be talking about urban exploration. And I'm going to be meeting up with Dan from Bearded Reality, which is an urbex, I think that's what they call it, urbex, an urban exploration channel, fantastic channel. And links will be in the description below. And I'm gonna meet up with him, he's just over here now, and he's gonna take me inside Rawson's Mill. And that's the building up there. Now, I can hear there is actually some people already inside there playing music. So this has turned out to be a bit of a, a different explore. But uh, yeah, we're going to talk about uh, urban exploration with Dan. So here we are. We've taken the uh, long winding journey to, uh, is it Rawson's? Um, Old Lane Mill, Rawson's Mill. Rawson's Mill. And we're going to go inside. Like I said, there is some uh, music playing. So that's going to be interesting as well. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> yeah, well, please. Please, let's not die. <laughs> So we're going to have a look around inside and I'm just going to have a chat with uh, Dan on the way around. We don't want to go underground. We're not going to go no, we're not going to go underground. We'll be going up. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave that to you guys. So, urban exploration. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of a, a grey area. Is it a grey area regarding the legality of in and out of these buildings? So there's, there's well, there's two types of like trespass. So you have civil trespass and then criminal trespass. So when it comes down to a lot of people get confused with it. So when it comes down to like criminal trespass, for example, if you're asked to leave an area and you don't leave, it's aggravated trespass, criminal. Okay, yeah. Um, and also breaking and entering into places, again, it's criminal. Yeah. So that's why when I go to locations, I'm looking for an open entrance only, um, because if I break into anywhere, then I'm breaking the law. Yeah. Uh, again, stealing something from a property, regardless if it's abandoned or not, stealing anything, criminal. Yeah. Uh, so these are all things that you can get charged with. Yes. Whereas so, civil is basically down, you can be prosecuted by a landowner, for example, but the, it's not a criminal charge. Right. Because you're just here to literally just explore, aren't explore you? Explore, document, yeah. and capture images. Yeah. There's two, there's two schools of thought. Some people think that it is criminal, and uh, I'm, I believe that it's, it's really good what you guys do. I think it's well, really, yeah, like with, really with, good. With some places and areas, not many people see them. Yeah. And they will get lost of time and just get demolished. For a lot of places, when they become grade listed, um, it's because they mean something to our history. Whereas what happens is they leave them to slowly be destroyed and then they'll knock them down. Yes. It's cheaper for them to do that than convert a building. Yeah, right. So it is good that they are seen and, uh, you know, they'll be around for a long time. Well, your, nothing, your nothing goes on the internet. Like, it's there forever and then people yeah, can see. And that's good. <laughs> it's nice for a bit. So, so it's an interesting hobby. Would you class this as a hobby? Is it a hobby? Um, it's, it used to be kind of a hobby, but I kind of like, this is now like becoming more and more a part of my life, I suppose. Yeah. There's always things that I've been interested in and I don't get time to do everything. And this is something that I've delved my passion into really. So you've always been interested in this sort of thing? Well, I, like, I did my degree in history and... Right. And I started like taking photos about 10 years ago of places and whatnot, which is... And then I just started filming instead, right. instead of playing the games. Mm, well, it shows it shows that you are passionate about this in your on your channel. It is good. It's, 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 yeah, it, it does. It really does. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching it for quite a while, and uh, yeah. So you you were monetized a while back now, weren't you? No, only you were, last month. Was it last month? Yeah. Uh, and how you how are you finding that? You're coining it in now. Oh yeah, I made my seven dollars. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm, I'm going to retire in Milton. <laughs> Some, uh, some young'uns down there playing on their uh, boom box or whatever you want to call it. Probably not going to, probably going to edit that bit out. Boom box? <laughs> no, I don't know how 
But uh, yeah, so it, it did get a bit spooky for me on the way up, pretty dark. I'm glad you brought that light. There's going to be other people thinking about doing this and throwing themselves straight into coming around a mill with no torches and falling through floor. How yeah. safe is this? Any advice it's, to people? Well, it's obviously not the safest hobby. I wouldn't recommend it personally to anybody that's under 18. Um, I do get a lot of um, followers and people asking me about places and a lot of the time I won't give out information uh, when I know, like, if you can tell how old someone are. Yes. If that makes sense. But again, it's, some places are quite safe, other places are not. And I always state that in my videos, like I'm saying, oh, this place is definitely not safe, I wouldn't come here. Um, yeah. Or I would go on a place never on my own. Um, personally, I, I do sometimes go to places on my own. But that's because I am an adult and I take the own risks. On that is, and that is a big risk on your own, isn't it? It is. It is. So we've come down the floor now, and uh, like Dan was just saying, all the different floors of this mill take on a different feel. And uh, we've got the water dripping down. It is, it's, uh, it's quite a dramatic day, really, with the rain. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I think, it's, uh, I think it's adding to it a bit. But there's, there's holes in this floor all over. You could fall straight down a hole, break your ankle very easily. So uh, yeah, it's, it's not very safe. You've got you to gotta know what you're doing here. So do you go with the, uh, with the famous phrase, only take photographs and leave, leave footprints. footprints. Yeah. Uh, do you yeah. go with that? <clears throat> because yeah. number one, I'm technically still following the law. Yeah. So I won't do anything to incriminate myself uh, because there's no need. Mm. And I'm only here to capture images and document film. Like film is my preferred format. A lot of people don't like YouTube right. as a whole, uh, especially in the exploring scene. However, it's the format that I choose to express myself in and then I also yeah. do my photos as well. So Dan's up above me now, and he did actually climb up to a water tower that's out there. I won't be going up there, but <laughs> he's having another look. I'm enjoying the explore. I hope you are enjoying the vlog so far. So just when I thought that this explore was over, and yeah, I've, I've just about had enough of being in this spooky mill, but I really have enjoyed it. Do I look like I have? <laughs> yeah, I really have. Dan's gonna take me some tunnels. Apparently there's some tunnels here, and he's just told me that they, uh, they, they might be haunted. But as you know, I don't scare very easily. <laughs> down there, there's like some stuff on that. There's flowing water down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, it links underground. So, but like, even if it was, let's say, a sewer system, which I don't think it is, because you've got to remember, with all the stuff pumping in that way, it's, just, it's one of those like really weird ones, and it was covered with this stone. All right. Which is just a random rock, and you just think, okay, interesting. You can see down there, like, even though there's a bunch of crap, there's actually um, like a platform, and it leads down. Yeah. So you were saying that uh, maybe it's haunted down there and you've got some of that equipment I've noticed. You've got some equipment for uh, detecting. Yeah, so I've got like a spirit radio, the KT meters, a bunch of other stuff. I've never used them. Right. Like some of my friends have used some of the um, online spirit radio things, everything like right. that. But like my intention's not to go and find haunted places because no. it scares the crap out of me. Do you it's believe scared. in... Do you believe in ghosts? I believe, yeah, yeah. A bit, that's, not, like, that's not helping with your hobby. No, no, like I said, <laughs> so there's some places that I mentioned that are haunted, and like I said, we've had experiences and stuff happen there. Yeah. And now that's why I won't return back to them. Have you ever seen anything in the background of footage? Uh, some, some other people's footage, yes, and we're just like, so what is that? <laughs> yeah. And in mine, there was like some, there's like a weird one where the like, curtains are sort of moving, and there's like all sorts of things, oh, it could be anything. Uh, yeah. And then you're thinking like, well, when I was there, what's going on? And just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like they said, that, that care home, I won't go back there. I no. might do one day if, I, like, if I'm brave enough, but I doubt it because it, it scared the crap out yeah. of me. Like, it was very scary. And yeah. like, so, like Jason probably wouldn't want to go back either. Right. <laughs> so what about practical jokes with the people that come with you? Do you have a rule not to do practical jokes? Because that, that would do my head in. Um, there's, no, there's no rule. Like, like the, the whole point is like when I'm filming, like the way that I film is I'm capturing everything as I'm seeing it. Yeah. So, like, so there's one in the spinwell where like the the literally the one I've just uploaded and they hid in the the cupboard. Right. And they just 
scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I, I am quite jumpy, so I can't yeah. be quite jumpy if I'm not being chilled. So <laughs> they thought that was funny, I'll get them back. <laughs> but like, like I said, it's, this is, it's all on the fly. So there's no planning behind it, Yeah. literally. That's, that's, that's how I prefer it. I'm not going just writing out scenes or doing anything now. I'm literally, right, I turn up, hello, yeah. let's go. And that's, that's how I want people to want to explore. And yeah. like, so that, like I've watched a bunch of places, like let's say the, um, Rawson's Mill here, I've, I've watched this a few times and look, everybody's different personal intake on it. Yeah. Um, and then I've gone and done it myself, um, like well before them anyway. And then it's my personal intake, yes. how I find the building. Yeah, how. just because it's been explored before doesn't mean well, that. That's the whole point yeah. about urban exploration. You go and um, find your own take on something and the yes. history behind it as well. Yeah. And it actually encourages you to look up the history of different places. Definitely, yeah. So that's it for this one. I really have enjoyed the explore with Dan. Thanks for taking me around well, and uh, definitely check out Dan's channel. Excellent channel. I will leave the link in the description below. So that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, give me a like. Consider subscribing. I upload a vlog every month. So if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one. Bye. See you later.